Hello, everybody, and welcome to Farming Simulator 25. First, I want to thank Giants for providing me with an early access copy so I can show this stuff off to you before the release next Tuesday. We're going to start our pre-release coverage by talking about the new changes that are happening in career mode. And we've heard a whole lot of stuff about Farm Sim 25, and we still have a lot of stuff that's not been talked about. And the new career mode gameplay start is just one of those. So we still have our 20 save game slots. And of course, we know about the three starting maps of Riverbend Springs, Hutan Pantai, and Zilonka. But what we don't know is everything else below. In Farm Sim 19, Farm Sim 22, we had the presets of New Farmer, Farm Manager, and Start From Scratch. And we could select one of those, and depending on how we selected those, it was based on what our farm looked like or what our starting point looked like when we loaded in. Somewhat the same with respect to FS25, because New Farmer Mode defaults to $100,000 cash, no loan, easy economy, and we own the starting farm. So the yes, no here doesn't mean does the starting farm exist. It simply means do we own it or not? And if we own it, we also have starting machinery. Now, if we flag the starting farm to no, then we do not own the starting farm at the start. We do not have any starting machinery at the start either, but the farm is still physically there. The guided tour is tied to the start farm state. So if we do not own the starting farm, we can't activate the tour. If we do own the starting farm, we could have the tour or we could select no. Now, something else about the guided tour. The guided tour is only available on Riverbend Springs. And we'll be putting out a video later actually walking you through the guided tour. That way, if you don't want to do it, well, you can at least see me and see what it's all involved. Now, we could choose farm manager mode and just take these defaults and run with it. $1 million cash, zero starting loan, normal economy. We do not own the farm at the start, but it still exists. It also means, as I said earlier, we don't have any machinery and we don't have an option of a tour. Or we could decide, you know what? I want just $500,000. I want a $250,000 loan and I want to have easy economy. And while I'm at it, I do want to own the starting farm. And if we go ahead and start this up, well, we should find ourselves with $500,000 of cash, $250,000 worth of a loan, and easy economy. So as we can see here in the upper right, we do have $500,000 worth of money. We come here to our finances. Well, we're going to see that we have a $250,000 loan. And if we come to settings, we're going to see that we're on the easy economy. So what does this mean? Well, it means that really we're not bound to the presets, but we really weren't bound to the presets previously because we could always come in here. We could always go to the settings and we could always say, you know what? I want to be on hard economy. And you know what? I also want to take out a loan or pay off a loan, but this really gives us the ultimate in flexibility to start however we want on theoretically any map that we want. So we can do this for Riverbend Springs. We can do this for Hutan Pantai, and we can do this for the base game Zilonka. The only thing, as I said earlier, that is tied to a specific map is going to be the tutorial and the tutorial is tied to Riverbend Springs. So you won't be able to activate the tutorial on any other map. But beyond that, you have the full flexibility of really tweaking, customizing and honing in how you want to start your gameplay each and every time. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. We're going to be putting out tons of coverage over the next week or so, trying to keep and get caught up with respect to all the things that have changed with Farm Sim 25. And until next time, happy farming.